So, Darren, I'm obviously welcome to the Thank film. you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Um, Black Swan is a, is a fantastic film. It's very complicated, mm. a lot going on. Yeah. Um, I think one of the first things that really struck me, I guess, was the similarities with the rest in terms of the extremities of the bodies mm. being used. Um, was that a conscious decision from the beginning to kind of address that again, perhaps? I, I, I don't know if it was conscious at the beginning. I think um, when we started to work on the ballet picture, the writer turned to me and said, you know, there's a lot of connections between this and the wrestler. And I wasn't afraid of that because I thought the characters were so different. That would be interesting. But I think performance is a big thing and these performers that, you know, use their bodies for their art and um, all the challenges and difficulties that that create. I thought no one would ever connect a 55-year-old uh, dying wrestler to a 20-something-year-old <laughs> ambitious dancer. And no, not at all. Yeah, yeah. And how much did you know about ballet before you... I knew nothing. Yeah. I did a lot of research though to get into it. I went um, backstage at a lot of shows. I hung out with dancers. I went to dance class, not participating but watching. <laughs> no. Although I should because I'd be in awesome shape right now. But um, I just got a real vibe and energy for it. And then I tried to surround Natalie Portman with as many dancers as I could. Such a challenging film and a challenging role for her and for Mila. I mean, was she willing to take on the challenge from the very beginning? Was she up for it? She's pretty hardworking and, and pretty committed. She started about a year out to train five hours a day, eating, I, I can only imagine what she ate, carrot sticks and almonds yeah. for a year, you know, so she, because these the girls are so small that she just had to lose a lot of weight. And um, Mila too, Mila was four or five months, was training too. And um, so it was a lot of work, but um, Natalie was, seemed like she was up for it. The supernatural elements are, are interesting, and again, yeah. I don't want to talk about it too much, but yeah. you, you've mentioned it, that you kind of see, you saw it as a werewolf film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. You tell us a bit about it. Well, you know, when I was doing early research, I was hanging out with this uh, famous dancer, Julie Kent, from the ABT in New York, and I was saying, what exactly are you? You know, she's like, well, uh, you know, a, ma a magician came, an evil magician came along and put a spell on me, and I guess it's a half swan, half human creature. You know, this is the story of Swan Lake, and mm. I'm like, half human, half swan. Well, that's interesting, because that's a werewolf. Um, this is gonna be fun doing this with Natalie Portman, you know, taking this delicate creature and turning her into some other type of creature. Have you been um, pleased with the success so far? It's gone down fantastically on the festival circuit. Yeah, but you know, it's early days. Let's see what audiences think. We're gonna have uh, tonight, we're gonna have, you know, uh, uh, you know, a Should real festival, British crowd, yeah, and yeah, we'll yeah. see we'll see what those pints do to the screen. <laughs> do you get nervous? Do you get apprehensive about it showing to I, real life people? I think I used to. I think at this point, you know, I'm um, I'm exci more excited. I, I, you know, I mean, <clears throat> the reason I do it is to entertain, and I hope people have a really good trip. <laughs>